Okay, I see it. All right, this should be recording. What I have here, I'm going to be discussing my AMSOIL BMK28 uh, uh, filter kit that I bought for my F250 uh, 2016 diesel. Let me pull this away. And what this is, so I back off, as you can see, I have the uh, kit, the BMK28. It came with a filter, a hose, a cutting template, and you'll get more detail here in a minute. Let me set that down. Uh, a bracket and fittings to connect in the uh, the filter assembly. But before we get to this, I wanted to show you rough estimate on some of the prices because as you see this stuff and you think about installing it to begin with I bought this back in uh, October of 2018 when I was in Florida and I had uh, Amsoil sell it to me it was a total of $350 for the kit and I'm gonna move it slow so you can see the cost and the prices and we'll continue on with the pricing here. Uh, as I set this aside, when I ordered the filter to begin with, the assembly, and it came with uh, the oil filters, the hose, the adapter pieces, uh, I set up an account with them for $10 to give me six months of AMSOIL, uh, basically discounts. And the interesting thing to think about, Amazon, Amsoil. Amazon is what delivers the stuff, but uh, not in this case, Amsoil. Because I knew I wanted to buy filters and it was going to take me time to figure this out. So that was an extra $10. All right, so you can see it. Okay. All right. I decided that I wanted to buy more... Uh, filters because I was going to do this. I haven't done it yet and when I install it I'll make a video of it. But these are the filters. One of them is an EAPB100 which is a uh, 20, uh, 20, no it's more than 20, It's a, it filters down to 2 microns which is why it's so large. And the other one's an EAO26 and that fills in the uh, bracket. And I'll have more video on this but so I had to make a decision on exactly how many I needed to buy before my uh, $10 uh, Amsoil device. Amsoil appears to be a good company. The filters are high quality, there's, there's no doubt. But I wanted to make sure that I had time to look at it and decide exactly how, much, uh, how many filters I wanted. Since they say you can run a year and all this stuff, I know myself, I will go till my meter hits 10,000 miles, I will chicken out, and I will change the engine oil. Okay? That's, I'm just telling you, I know what I'm going to do because I know myself very well. Alright. <clears throat> I decided to buy, it appears, four more filters. So while it was under warranty, I, I not under warranty, while it was still, I had the discount, I bought another four of each of the filters, which I have in a box over there. And uh, the, let's see, one of them is the uh, well, efficiency in a bypass. The bypass is a larger one. The other one, the smaller one, isn't. So I can change the oil five more times in the uh, next uh, 50,000 miles. So that'll get me to 105,000 miles. My discount savings worked out to be 25%, but again, the cost of all these filters turned out to be $226. Okay, so don't think for a minute that maintaining the truck is going to be super cheap. And it isn't, but the truck is a $55,000 truck. All right, so basically the total cost of that plus a bracket that I'll discuss separately. Uh, there's a, on YouTube, there's Don Smith. And he has a site, and I called him. He built a bracket that I'll show you later and comes with a kit on how you can mount it. And you go to his stuff, and it'll show you how uh, he mounted it in the hoses. It'll show you how to, you know, 
hook the fittings up to the hose and I'll explain some of that a little later and uh, it's all there so there's no sense in repeating it and he had a bracket kit for about $225 from my memory that I bought from him to install it and I'll show you how I have it in my truck currently and how I'm going to adapt that piece into it or basically install it per his steps so that's all I have to say about that but as far as Amsoil goes it's a good good company I will not be using Amsoil oil I use Rotella T6 because that's a synthetic and that's what you want to use synthetic oil and I can buy it pretty much anywhere matter of fact I have it delivered for a few of my vehicles that includes my truck uh, my truck my uh, lawnmower it's synthetic I change it once a year but they send you all the neat stuff on what you should be getting and all the stuff that they make because Amsoil makes a whole bunch of stuff is, is it better than others or not I don't know and then here's their other Amsoil magazine of all the fancy stuff they make if you choose to do so but all of this as far as it goes since I have this video just went over there into a round file and I'll put this in the round file after I make sure I've saved this stuff so I kept it for the presentation so that's basically the beginning start uh, this will be part number one okay let me stop it and I'll get part number two going thank you